back to another episode of Toggle. Well, yesterday we were able to move out of the Airbnb and into a more permanent residence. We're renting a little cottage for the next six months. Um, we also managed to go down and get our car registered and now we've got these lovely new Tasmanian number plates. So I guess that makes it a little bit more official. So yeah, so we've got this lovely little cottage that you can see behind me here. Uh, interesting thing is, it's semi off grid. So we've got power connected, but we, uh, we are on tank water and with a septic tank. So we're sort of acclimatizing to the whole off grid thing really. Uh, it's a little windy this morning. So let me just show you around the house. So this is the cottage. Now remember I said that there was a little bit of irony in it. And that little bit of an irony is the fact that our block sits on the banks of the Blythe River. About a half an hour inland. This cottage sits on the banks of the Blythe River, about a hundred meters from the ocean. So we have this lovely view. I'm sure I'll be doing a little bit of fishing down here very soon. But pretty much yesterday, apart from moving our stuff over, we spent most of the day setting up this dog run because the place wasn't fenced. Uh, we were very lucky to get this place. It has been hard to find a rental with dogs. So we're very grateful that we managed to get this place. But yeah, it pretty much took the whole day to build this dog enclosure. But that'll do the job. At least we know the dogs are safe. Uh, not going to get out and run around when we're not here or of an evening of a day they can just stay within this electric fence uh, but in the evening they'll be locked up in the cage so yeah just beautiful and there's a family of ducks that swim along and quack and carry on all day but it's quite nice listening to them and in future videos I'll do a kayak up the river as well and we can have a look and see what's going on up there
Good boy. Go on, Hame. Hey, Hamish. Morning. Well, nice early start up here on the block. It's just gone 7 a.m. I've been working up here the last couple of days. I haven't done any filming because it's been pretty much very repetitive. It's been the same thing over and over again. Chopping a log, moving it, digging out a little bit more dirt. So on and off of the tractor. They always say that it's good to turn the tractor off before you get off. You should never get off the tractor when you leave it running. Working by myself, I find that it becomes very tedious doing that, but it's, you know, get off, I'll turn the tractor off, get off, fix whatever i got to fix, back on, turn the tractor on, move forward a foot or two, turn the tractor off, get off, readjust the chain, get back on, it's very repetitive. I'm not going to bore you through all of that. Um, so just when something really interesting does start, that's, that's uh, when I'll do some more filming. So, but as you can see, I have managed to uh, get get through some some clearings here um, I've been using a lot of the this dead wood that's fallen down making like a bit of a bridge well it's not a bridge it's just that the ground's very boggy so I just need that support because the wheels were sinking straight into it uh, when I've needed to move a log like I needed to roll that big log I've just been using the jack uh, just jack it up and then roll it off so had to get creative being able to move this stuff by myself between the tractor and the jack i've been able to move most things so i just got to put some more timber into here and then i'll fill it over with dirt and then that mound just through there this mound here i'll, I'll actually clear straight through that because uh, then there's another little gully on the other side punch across that and then we'll be over into the campground area so yeah, that's what I'm up to today. And uh, anything that looks really interesting, then I'll film it. Well, work's been uh, held off for this afternoon. About lunchtime, a storm started to blow through and it's pretty wild out there at the moment. So we'll just have a nice relaxing one inside. Kick back, relax, have hot chocolate, I think. A nice bit of rain that we got last night and we've woken up to a beautiful calm morning this morning so i'm just going to take the chain off the chainsaw and get it sharpened up and then head up the block and get started work up there
So peaceful up here in the morning. You hear the birds singing. It's just very quiet. Anyway, we've got uh, a big day of work ahead of us. Last night I was thinking I need to be able to get more dirt, more dirt on top of those logs. And I've been having a bit of trouble trying to scrape that dirt out with the blade, with the bucket. I'm thinking, what am I doing wrong? How am I going to get around that? And then it dawned on me. You ordered an excavator, a backhoe too, you dummy. It's still sitting here in the plastic. So, right there. So today, I need to get that backhoe unpacked and get that hooked up. It's gonna take a little bit more effort than the other items. It's not just your simple three-point hitch. I've got to connect up the hydraulics as well. But, if I get that hooked up, then I'll be able to dig up heaps of dirt. Once the dirt's dug up and soft, then I can scoop it up in the bucket and then I'll make a bit quicker progress. So that's the task for this morning. Get this unpacked and work out how to get it onto the tractor and start using it. Yes, Darren, I'm reading the manual. This one has several manuals which is a little bit more complicated so uh, I want to know I'm doing this one right okay well that's taken me most of the morning to work out how to get that on the manual really wasn't any good um, it told me about each piece but not how to hook the two pieces together so then I reverted to YouTube and again couldn't find anything that related to the tractor I've got or the backhoe that I've got. Uh, so I rang up the guys at Soda Tractors. They're the ones who I bought this from. Fantastic service, Saturday morning and I was able to get a hold of them. Um, I was able to send them photos of what I'm trying to do 
explain uh, what I was trying to do. They were able to then give me detailed advice back on how to get it all hooked up. The only problem with that is, right where I am, there's no service. Up at the fence line, up there, I get one bar of 3G. It's still not enough to send a picture. So I'm running backwards and forwards in the car, right up onto the top of the hill, way up the back there where I first came in to send a message and then they'd give me some advice and I'd come back down and check it on the tractor and take another photo and drive back up to the top of the hill again. But in the end, we got it worked out. So let's see what I've done. So I had to take this bar off of the slasher and put that in. Uh, that was one part that was confusing me. I was wondering what was supposed to go in there and it was that bar. So dual purpose, that one for the backhoe and the slasher. The good thing was the three point hitch was able to stay. That's fantastic. It just comes down and goes into the pins there. And I didn't have to connect up any hydraulic hoses either because they had this hydraulic pump right there and it simply hooks straight over the PTO. The same as the um, slasher and the post hole digger do. And that's fantastic, no connecting and disconnecting of hoses. So I had to get that on there. I had that upside down, they corrected me on that. I had this bar in backwards, I had it over this way, I had to flip it back over. They corrected me on that. But now it's all in, they've given me the go ahead, said that it should all be fine to operate. So I'm gonna give this a go.
Well, close to the end of another long day. I did a little bit of work on the tractor, but predominantly I've just spent my time today using the chainsaw, clearing up that dead wood and trying to get that causeway slash bridge, whatever you want to call it, through. I spent the last couple of days in that gully like a busy little beaver, chopping up the logs and moving them around and stacking them all into place. We're going to take the day off tomorrow. We're going to head to Launceston, hopefully do a tour of the Bogues uh, Brewery, have some lunch down there. We're also picking up my timber mill. Very excited about that. And we're picking up a second-hand car because we need a second car. So we're just going to pick up a cheap car down there as well. So it'll be a nice day to shoot down to Launceston and back again. These, there's so many of these little gullies, as you can see right here, all through our property. And at the end of the day, it's an awesome place to just sit, chill out. It's just so much cooler down in here. Turn to nature's refrigerator. Grab a nice cold beer. And then just wind up the day with a couple of minutes of peace before I head back home. Uh, and then start editing all of these videos. So this is pretty much uh, it for this video. I'll get this wrapped up now. And uh, then I can start working on the next one. So this one should be up in the next day or so. I'll leave you with a little bit of footage of the track as it is so far, clearing through from point A to point B. Thanks very much for subscribing. I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you are, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of them. Give me any uh, tips you've got for improving or anything that you might like to see. Otherwise, have a great day. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.